Good morning, New Bridge Fellowship. On this Thanksgiving Day, we want to give thanks to the Lord. And on behalf of uh, Pastor Jeff and Sandy and Dalphy and I and our leadership here at New Bridge, we want to wish you a happy Thanksgiving. I have a few things on my mind about Thanksgiving, and I want to share a little bit from my heart. Uh, obviously, we're not at the church and I'll be looking forward to seeing everybody on Sunday morning. So let's pray. Father, we're thankful for all the good things that you've given unto us. And Father, we praise you for just who you are. We praise you for bringing your son to us for salvation. God, we're thankful for all the things that you do for us. We thank you. We love you. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. In Psalms 107, 8 and 9, it says, Let them give thanks to the Lord for his loving kindness and for his wonders to the sons of men. Amen. For he has satisfied the thirsty soul and the hungry soul he has filled with what is good. Aren't those just tremendous words and how God just, uh, we, give, we give him thanks for his loving kindness for us and the wonderful works that he's done for us. You know, we're, we're so... Uh, excited about what God is doing here at New Bridge. You know, soon we'll be starting our fifth year. Can you imagine that? It's been that uh, short of a time for us, but uh, God certainly has blessed us. You know, according to the Strong's uh, Concordance, the Hebrew word for thanks is toda, And it literally means a confession. It means a praise. It means an offering. When we give thanks unto uh, the Lord, it's the truest sense of the biblical word. It's to give thanks. It's to offer a confession, an offering of thanks to God. And we offer our praises and we acknowledge him and that he is the giver of all good gifts. Amen. It's so good to know that. And Psalm 6930 says, I will praise the name of God with song and I will magnify him with thanksgiving. I will please the Lord, and I'm sorry, and it will please the Lord better than an ox or a young bull with horns and hooves. In other words, our praises is better than any sacrifice that was offered in the Old Testament. Hallelujah. God wants a praise from our heart, not just our hands. Amen. Praise the Lord. He is so good to us. It tells us that thanksgiving and honors magnifies God celebrating all that he is and the wonderful things that he does for us. Thanksgiving is a sacrifice on the altars of our hearts, not on the altars of stones. At times, we don't feel very thankful. There's times we just, we're just not thankful. But it's in those moments that grateful hearts will become the most pleasing sacrifices to God. When you don't feel like praising God, when you don't have a reason to praise God, when you don't have a reason to say, God, thank you for all that you've done, or you don't even remember, it's those times that you just praise him and that you thank him and you love him. And those are the kind of sacrifices that God likes, the kind that come from our heart. In Colossians 3.17, it says, Whatever you do in word or in deed, do all in the name of the Lord Jesus giving thanks through him to God the Father. Amen. It's through Jesus Christ. He's our mediator. He's the only one we can go through. He's the only one that can come to the Father. And we do our thanks and we give him homage to who he is and who God is. And we're so thankful that we can do that. And we're thankful that we have that avail availability and ability through the Son. Amen. First Chronicles 6.18 says, Give thanks unto the Lord and call on his name. And make known his deeds among the people. We're to call on God. We're to call on his name. Father, we need you. Father, we need you. And it's so important that we can do things and go to God with the things that God wants us to bring to him. He wants to hear our prayers. He wants us to call upon him. He knows that we need him. Before we even ask, he knows what we want, but he also wants us to acknowledge him and he wants us to pray to him and he wants us to cry out to him. 
and he wants to give thanks to him and to make his deeds known among the people. And that's literally in these last days, going out and sharing and living the gospel. So there's a difference about us. People that come to Newbridge, there should be an anointing and a presence of God that we feel in our building. It should go forth under the world, amen, and be a light unto the world. First Chronicles 6, 14, it was so important that, that, that David mentioned it twice to give thanks to the Lord and call upon his name. He said in 1634, Oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he's good, for his mercy endureth forever. Hallelujah. He mentioned it twice. That's how important it was to David. And church, I, should, I believe it should be that important for us. Philippians 4, 6, and 7, we all know this scripture. That's a great scripture for us. It says, be anxious for nothing. Let me say that again. Be anxious for nothing, but in everything, by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let our request be made known unto God. And the peace of God, which surpasses all comprehension, will guard our, your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Amen. Be anxious. There isn't anything that should stir us. There isn't anything that should stir the church in the last days. There's going to be things that happen all around us, and they're happening all around us as we speak. But we can't be anxious for that. What's the worst thing that can happen? We die and go to heaven? That's the best thing that can happen. So we can't be anxious for, for anything. But, we're, but, but in everything, no matter what goes on, no matter what, what things happen about us, that we're to do to, to uh, uh, not to be anxious, but in everything, prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, with thanksgiving, we're to call upon God and let our requests be made known unto God. God is so good to us. For all things for your sakes, that abundant grace might through thanksgiving of many abound in the glory of God. That's in 2 Corinthians 4.15. For all things are for your sakes, that the abundant grace might through thanksgiving of many rebound to the glory of God. Amen. God wants us to do all things. It's for our sakes that we do it. That grace might through thanksgiving. Grace comes through thanksgiving. Worshiping and thanking God, rejoicing with God and fellowship with God. Those are the things we can be thankful for. And grace comes through our thanksgiving for those things. Speaking of thanksgiving, we give our thanks to God for God's grace and mercy. His grace becomes more abundant through our thanksgiving to his glory. It's a brilliant design that God has that we can give thanks and his glory shows up. It's God's way. It's God's kingdom way. And I'm so thankful through Thanksgiving and, and this season that we can put thankfulness in our hearts to God. Jonah said, but I'll sacrifice to you with the voice of Thanksgiving. That which I have vowed I will pay. Salvation is of the Lord. Hallelujah. He said, I'll sacrifice my voice with you for Thanksgiving. That which I vowed and the things that I promised and the things that I asked for and the things that we're in covenant with through prayer. He said, I will pay. And the salvation is from the Lord. Amen. Aren't you glad for that? Thanksgiving is a sacrifice. We know that. There's no doubt. It takes guts, if you will, to give thanks, thanksgiving and, and shout out with thanksgiving to the Lord. But we do because, as Jonah says, salvation is of the Lord. We should be proud of that fact. We should be confident in that fact. No matter what it is, God will save us. God will get us, get us through. In 1 Corinthians, in closing this morning, 5, 16 through 17, it says rejoice always. And we're to pray without ceasing. And in everything, we're to give thanks. For this is the will of God for you in Christ Jesus. Some have said that these are the two hardest things in our walk, in the Christian walk. To rejoice always and to pray without ceasing. 
and I concur. Those are hard things to do when you really think about it. It was said of Smith Wigglesworth that he never prayed more than a half hour, but he never went more than a half hour without praying. Church, that's praying without ceasing. Amen? Let me say that again. He never went, he never prayed more than a half hour, but he never went more than a half hour without praying. Church, that is really praying without ceasing. Thanksgiving and everything is, it's not just a sacrifice. We have to make when we feel thankful. It's a sacrifice when we don't feel thankful. We're to give thanks in all things, all things, no matter what the circumstances are, no matter how hard it is, no, no matter how unthankful people are to us, no, no matter how unthankful we are for some things, we're to be thankful in all things. And you know why we are? Because it's God's will. It's the will of God. He wants us to be thankful in all things. And he wants us to rejoice always. He wants a happy church. Amen. And a great way to show him that is to be thankful to him. He puts a special blessing on the people that thank him. There's just a special anointing. Our prayers will be answered. Our prayers will be enhanced. Our living in the spirit can be enhanced for being a thankful people. And I'm thankful for you, the pastors and our, our leadership. We're so thankful for the church. We've been uh, so faithful to the house of God. You've been so faithful in your giving. You've been so faithful. God has shown blessings to us. And we're looking forward to all. And we're so thankful for all the great things that God is going has done for us, that God is doing for us, and what God is doing for us and will do for us. We're all grateful for that. We ask uh, this morning for a special blessing for for the church. We're looking forward to seeing you on Sunday. Be safe, be loving, be thankful on this this day and don't forget to to be thankful for the turkey for that turkey died so you could live. And Lord, we just pray. Father, we thank you just for all that you've done for us. For Newbridge, God, for just the blessings you've bestowed upon us, the way that you meet us. When we come, God, to worship and to praise, you meet us there. We're thankful for you. We're thankful for Jesus. We're thankful for the Word of God. We're thankful for prayer. God, we pray. We pray your blessings to be upon us. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. Love you guys.